here is for the AJ card reading for the March 2015. Well, it is unicorn, they were active, and um, yeah, I want to get uh, my attention here. So, um, yeah, here is uh, the scene of uh, Hong Kong, the Causeway Bay. Um, that is the most busiest place in Hong Kong, actually. So you can see all these high-rise building. I'm actually, I'm on the level 20, 21, you know, so the building even so taller than me. Well, I mean here. <laughs> so um, anyway, we get back to card reading here, and let's see what the um, unicorn or angels want to give the message for us. So there is one uh, pop-up card, and it's okay. And we just have to get three cards. Uh, which three cards will draw your attention? Okay, right. Let's see. Um, the first card turn up here. Ooh. the first card here. It says, uh, "You know, in the morning." So, <sighs> that is the March reading here. Okay, so actually what I receive the energy here is uh, in the beginning of the month that you truly know what exactly you need to do in the, you know, in the month of March. And uh, you, you're just trying to delay it and you're just trying to say, well, give me a break and uh, I need to fully well recover. I need to uh, have all the resources then and can do something. Uh, or you always say... Um, uh, you have to wait um, the other pieces of uh, puzzle to fill in before you go out or this kind of thing. Um, here's a card is telling you that um, sometimes that is true when you are still in the darkness that it's difficult for you to start doing anything. So why not wait for the morning when the sun is coming, when the sunlight is you know shining on you, then you can see the whole picture and then you find it. Wow, actually it's a completely different story as what I thought when you were in the dark, you know. So um, here is Andrew telling you that okay. If the case like that, that you're in the situation that a little bit not sure or kind of like, mm, um, you know, uncertainty. So yeah, maybe went to the morning, then you will get it clear and you will see all the directions for you here. Okay. Uh, for the second card, that is the middle of the card, that is the card of love. Well, although that Valentine's Day is, you know, is passed, but here is the answer that you are seeking is love. What I received the information is if you have seniors at home or if you have any um, um, senior parents uh, or people or, or um, um, you know, the people that you have high respect to, uh, here's the card that's telling you that maybe it's time for you to send some love to them and also it's time for really have the compassion and look after them. You know, sometimes look after old people, it's just very simple. Spend some time with them, uh, have a cup of tea with them, enjoy some jokes maybe, you know, uh, talk about, you know, the weather today, and they just enjoy it. You know, you, you don't have to think too much and too far. The most important is enjoy the moment being with you. You know, it, it's not, you know, asking you to, you know, um, buy him a luxury you know, stuff and things, you know, okay? So what I really, uh, we see the energy here about love here is regarding to the seniors here. Yeah. Okay, it is the card that we're going to be coming to the end of the March, uh, teamwork. So it seems like that something is moving regarding to your project, uh, maybe within your family as well, maybe something is changed. Uh, so um, some people that you thought that, you know, you, you, you couldn't get along with, but suddenly they they really cooperate with you. Um, it must be a lot of reason, you know. But um, also maybe regarding to some family issue here. Um, but also um, people change, so people they may think differently after a certain time. And at the end, you know, as teamwork is always benefited by you know working by yourself. Okay, so let's see what is the jump card here. Okay, oh the jump card here is. True. Wow. Just being honest to you, um, to yourself and to the world here. And you just have to spread out your wings. You just have to be yourself, and you don't have to pretend to be something else. You just, if if you're not happy with something, just say that you don't happy with. You don't have to pretend that you are happy with. You know what I mean?